Hello everyone and welcome back to Scrummy. Today I've got a lovely Guinness brown bread recipe for you, which can be quickly and easily made by hand in just a few minutes. Ok everyone, time to start baking. Take two large eggs, crack open and pour into a medium sized bowl. Gently begin to whisk. Then add one tablespoon of treacle, also known as molasses. This will give the bread that little bit of sweetness it needs. Add 200 ml, 3 quarters of a cup of buttermilk. And 100 ml, 1 third of a cup of our magic ingredient, Guinness Stout Ale. Whisk until everything is thoroughly mixed. Set to one side whilst we prepare the dry ingredients. Ok, I'm mixing 350 grams, that's 2 and 1 quarter cups of wholemeal flour. 50 grams, 1 third of a cup of all purpose flour. 50 grams, half a cup of porridge oats. 2 teaspoons of bread soda. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Give the dry ingredients a good mix. Make a small well in the centre. Pour in the wet mix and then gently fold everything together. But be careful not to overmix because we want a nice soft loaf. This looks great! Pour into a greased 2 pound loaf tin and spread it out flat with a spatula. Using a sharp knife score a line down the middle of the bread. Finally, we're going to scatter some porridge oats on top to make it look pretty. Time to get it into the oven. Bake at 170 degrees Celsius, 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 50 minutes. Cool for at least 30 minutes before cutting. This Guinness brown bread tastes great when served with scrambled eggs. I love to eat it in a sandwich and my kids are delighted when they get Guinness brown bread with jam and butter. If you've never met or tasted Guinness bread, I recommend you try it. You don't know what you're missing. This is a really lovely brown bread and has all the goodness of the wholemeal flour, porridge oats and Guinness. This bread will stay fresh for up to three days and can be frozen for up to six months. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy baking everyone!